Progress Waters, aka Chef Hydro, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys um, how to make your homemade honey bunches of oats, okay? So first what you need, of course you need the cornflakes. Um, I have my own granola. You could get this um, anywhere. Now this is maple granola um, that my wife made. Um, however, you could go buy your own, you know, granola cereal. Um, you can even get the little Country Valley granola bars. That's all crunchy. Just crunch it all up and it should appear like that, right? And you also need some honey. Okay, how, how can I forget? You have to get the milk as well. Hold on. Boom. Now, of course, you can get whatever type of milk you want. Um, me personally, I'm a big fan of coconut milk. <laughs> Delicious, right? No. Um, you can use almond milk, lactate milk, whatever type of milk you want, okay? So the first thing you want to do is that you want to pour, let's say, about a cup of cereal in here, okay? So you have your cup measuring cup here, and you want to make sure. Now, you want to get corn flakes, all right? Now, you can use frosted flakes, too. However, I'm trying to be a little bit healthy, you know, so I don't want too much right now. Here. So this is about one cup right here, okay? You want to pour it in here like this, all right? Next thing you want to have is that you want to have your honey. You want to put your honey on a little bit. Now, you can also put the granola in next, but I really want the honey to primarily be all over the flakes, all right? Go ahead and you don't have to be conservative with the honey. Wow, this thing is kind of As much honey as you can. Of course, honey is very thick, so it takes a while. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. This is gonna be good already, I can tell. Then you wanna kinda mix it up a little bit. It's all sticky, so you can use a spoon. Try and stab at it a little bit. And then what you want to do is that you want to put about a one third cup of granola in here, in your cup, and you want to make sure that it all goes in there. Spread it all out. You want to make sure that your cereal is caramelized, all right? You want to make sure that, um, you know, it's very flavorful. Put in another third of a cup of almond. Voila. Then you want to once again mix it all up. I'm making a mess here, but you want to mix it all up as much as you can. Just want to make it sticky, but that's a good thing, all right? And now you get your milk for coconut milk. You want to shake it. Make sure all the contents in the um, in the liquid is all diversified um, throughout. Okay. Of course. So usually you want to measure this, maybe about one cup of milk. But I'm, I'm measuring it with my eye just to save time for you guys. I'm going to mix it all up. Alright, and this is the final product right here. See that? It looks just like honey bunches of oats. If someone, if someone came over and, and, and ate this, they'd be like, oh, there's some good honey bunches of oats. Mmm! This is good. You can have it for breakfast. You can have this for dessert. Midnight snack, late night snack, and it's not bad. This is a better alternative to honey bunches of oats. So let me see. Let me show you how much I, I spent on this. So cornflakes. Let me see. Cost dollar fifty cent. Milk right here. Two dollars. Okay. Honey. Let me see. Thirty five cent. I don't. I only spent about. My math is correct. And you guys could correct me if I'm wrong. Three dollars and thirty-five cents for this. And guess how much honey bunches of oats cost? Five dollars. So I saved a lot of money doing this. Okay. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this um, recipe, and I'll see you next episode. Thanks for watching. Mm.